Have you seen that trend on uh, Instagram? The all the celebrity Bollywood celebrities doing the galabo satabo satabo samabo badabo samabo. No, wabo satabo galabo samabo badabo kazabo kazabo dadabo. I don't know. I did it. Oh, I did it correctly. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. You did it. I'm Corbin. I'm Rick. And you can follow us on Instagram and Twitter for more juicy content. Thank you for on Patreon, follow official Twitter account, ring the bell, follow the notification squad. Bang! Bang! And, uh, oh, sorry, I scared my son when I went bang. Uh, and uh, follow us on our personal YouTube channels. Links always in the description below. So it's today, uh, the history was made. Uh, something is for the first time in, in Bollywood for sure. Something that was made for theatrical release has been released on the um, uh, streaming platforms. Uh, it's one of the first, it's, uh, it was supposed to be a big theatrical release and released on that. So we got to see it today. And so that's what we're doing a review. It's going to be a little different because it's new. We're going to do a little non-spoiler and then we'll Correct. get spoilers. That's because that's how yes. we do new ones because some of you haven't seen it as opposed to when we watch Anand and it came out in 1950 and all of you have seen it. So, yes. So, uh, this is Globo Sotabo, uh, starring Amitak Bakchan, Ayushman Krana, Vijay Raz, and uh, directed by Globo Sotabo. Globo Sotabo. It's a very uh, sing songy name for sure. Uh, it really is. By Sujit Sikhar uh, from uh, Piku. Uh, I think that's no, Piku. Did he direct Pink as well or did he not? No. Uh, no. I don't he, know. I, he, know he, he, I don't think he did. I think he, he definitely did Piku. He wrote Pink. Uh, but we loved Piku. Ah. Uh, Piku is yep. one of our favorite movies. Uh, two scheming men get caught up in a game of one upsmanship, each one attracting. Um, Attracting the other members to their clan and each one with the agenda of his own. That's pretty accurate. Uh, so, Rick, non spoiler. Do you have a, a paragraph at all? Non spoiler. I have a paragraph off the top of my head. I didn't write something down yeah. definitively. But I would say um, it, it, a, an attempt at a cautionary tale that has a flat front end and a better back half that's primary benefit is the strong acting performances by everybody yet for me didn't reach the potential i was hoping it would achieve i don't consider it to be a bad film but it's not something i would jump up and down and say yeah you got to watch it right now yeah uh, and and i would agree uh we could get more to that into spoilers once we're done with this little tiny bit um it i think a lot of the i because a lot of stuff was great all the actors, I believed them 100%. The makeup, 100%. The makeup was phenomenal. The accents were really, really good. Uh, well, to my ears, obviously to an, I don't know the regional, but they sounded good to my uh, ears. I think the cinematography, it was a very beautiful film in terms of just making it look naturally beautiful. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, uh, obviously his shots are just, his films are really just fly on the wall type films, right? And uh, that's mm -hmm. what we loved about Piku. Uh, mm -hmm. and, and, and so stuff like that. I think where it lost us is, and I confirmed this with somebody, it's such a dialogue heavy film and it, it was going for a lot of quirky dialogue. Mm -hmm. uh, and I asked some Indians to turn on English shubs for me and tell me if they did it correct. And they said it, they tried, but it, it does not convey mm. some of the humor and also mm. some of the weight of some of the dialogue in the English mm. version. Uh, gotcha. And so, obviously, this is strictly based off of the. If you're watching it with English subtitles, like we were, this is the review for that because um, it's completely different. If you understand the language, and same thing with a yeah. bunch of other comedies, you know. Uh, but right. I agree. I think eh, it's just it's it's a weird thing because I think most of the film is it's a well made film. It's like like all the pieces are there, the cinematography, the acting, the score. I thought was enjoyable, but it was pretty boring most of the time for me um me too and and so that's 
I wanted to really love it. <laughs> I really oh, did. Oh, 100% I did, yeah. Um, but I agree it, with you. And I, I think the score was really quirky and fun. Yep. And I think we probably did lose some of the translation aspect of it. But even still, yeah. uh, I, there there was a – and it isn't just pacing. It's yes. just the story in and of itself was boring. I didn't find myself caring about the people enough and soon enough. I did see that some critic – I don't remember from where, uh, took exception to Big B and said that they, like, he got, that he used his makeup and stuff, and we got props more than we got a character, and I felt the exact opposite. Oh, no, I, I, I wholeheartedly, I think, there was nothing wrong with the performances. I think... Nothing. Perf- I felt every acting performance in this was strong. It's my favorite part. If there's anything I would say that I like about this film the most, yeah, it's everybody's acting yeah i i agree they the acting is really 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 good in this it's yep, just really good. the story that they were telling story. It just in, in terms of what i got from the dialogue of the, yeah. the subs i just it didn't interest me very much uh no I, I really felt like the the cautionary tale uh at the end and what they were trying to say um would have had a stronger payoff if we had had a more personal story throughout, because the payoff at the end is the personal side of this versus it being just the uh, stereotypical, topical, at this level, bickering. Yeah. And uh, versus getting, getting, and I thought we were going to go there in the moment when, and again, oh, now, yeah. probably so getting if, into spoilers here. If, uh, if you haven't seen it, uh, go away, and especially if you you know the language, I'd say definitely go watch it. I think you're going to enjoy it more than uh, than we would uh, with the subs. Um, but uh, that that's our non spoiler review. Uh, yeah. If you want so, if you want to talk a little bit more about the little bit of spoilers, uh, now is the time. So you've been warned. Yeah. Go ahead, Rick. So the scene where Ayushman is talking to Big B and he's laying down there and he tells him to adopt him. And you get the idea that that was probably a ploy. Yeah. Um, I thought that was the place we were going to start to get into some of the more personal things about Big B's story. Because I was be- I was beginning to, just, just because of the way Big B played this guy, I was beginning to feel a sense of, of, of empathy and compassion. And I wanted to know more about this man's story. Why is he alone? Where... Where are his kids? Where's his family? And then I wanted to know more about the people living in the building. It's like, who are these people? Why are they all together? But there was so much bickering in the first half, and it wasn't very exciting that for me it was like, we going to get to our story yet? Because, yeah. okay, I get it. It's a landlord with tenants. Yeah. Uh, the acting is holding me, but the story itself was just boring. Yeah, I think it. I think in that, in that, in that time when um... – they're doing a lot of the bickering. It's it's a lot of the language, like it's like little slangs that are supposed sure. to be like a little like, <laughs> oh my god, he said that, blah blah blah. But it didn't translate. I did not. I think I chuckled maybe twice. And I know it's not supposed to be a comedy. It's not supposed to be like it's not supposed to be like a funny funny film. Um, but uh, like I think those were the moments that were supposed to keep you in those <laughs> moments, and they they just did not translate with the subs. I think we laughed more in the trailer. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think we did. I really do. Uh, and I will say, because we, we got to say this, because we never talk about the man, but we're going to talk about him. I think VJ Roz, uh, as always, just like a Yushman and Big B, he just is always good. He's always believable. He brings such an interesting character to every film just i think it's making everything the makeup of his face it's very expressive i think sometimes Mm -hmm. uh Mm -hmm. not like jim carrey expressive but like but it it, and it's not like cliche like a jim carrey expression either it's Mm -hmm. it's every single time he's on screen you're just no enraptured Uh, in what what he in in what he's doing and he he's effortlessly funny as well Tell me if you agree with this comparison, because they have very different faces, but I feel the same way as far as expressiveness of face without it being comedic. Just a face that has such such character to it and such expressiveness as Andy Serkis. Yeah, yeah, I would say so. Yeah, 100%. Right? 
same uh, same quality of actor as well. Both are phenomenal, yeah, both phenomenal, are phenomenal actors. actors. Um, and yeah, I so like I said, I so wanted to really love this film, and I ended up just being yeah. like, okay, that was that was okay, that it was, was nice. fine, that was nice. Um, and so that's that's really what I came away with it as. And I, maybe it'd be different if we knew Hindi. Like I said, because I've talked to a few people already that said they really, really enjoyed it and they thought it was really funny, heartwarming. And I'm like, oh, okay, that's probably stronger than what I would have felt uh, yeah. in terms of the film as a whole. But it's it's one of those weird films because, like I said, almost everything is good in it. It's just the film is not as good as I wanted it to be. I agree. <laughs> like, and, it's not the director's I, and, fault. It's not. It's like it's no. not. <laughs> It's, it's weird. just a story. Yeah. And I think as well, I'm glad that I didn't allow the the boringness of the story for the majority of the first three quarters of it to uh, distract me from the cautionary tale aspect because it does have an important message that I wish they had been able to accentuate more. Yeah. And the analogy I can give for it would be like, if you're driving on a road and it's raining really hard, it's easy to get focused on the rain and be frustrated by the rain. But if you're able to clean the windshield, you can see what's really out there. And that's how I felt like the rain being the proverbial boredom I had. Yeah. Because when, when the statement was made about how do you place a dollar value on the love of a mother? Mm -hmm. And at the end, when he places a dollar value on the chair and then the store in Mumbai places the dollar value on the chair, that that's a very important message, as is uh, one of my favorite things, if not my favorite thing, is she did not settle and didn't get played. And at her age was like, I'm still going to go after the love of my life and I'm not going to be mean to you in the process. I'm still going to let you have a home. But yeah. I know you married me for the mansion, and I want to have love with the remaining days of my life. I thought that was great. <laughs> yeah, I, I I did enjoy the end. Uh, and I, she was like, had her whole entry moment there at the end, where she was like a, a badass, and I thought that was that was really fun. Um, so yeah, it's once again, this is a review for the English subtitle version, and that's the only thing we can judge. Uh, it might be a completely different film with the Hindi version. Uh, so you can let us know if uh, uh, what you thought about this film down below. Um, but we love every actor in this. We love the director, and we want to see more. I need. I want to see more from uh, this director. Actually, uh, we need to explore oh, wow. him more because he's a phenomenal director. Great director. Uh, uh, I think the next one probably. What, what, what have I heard? Uh, Madrid Caf, Madras Cafe. Uh, Vicky yeah. Donner. Vicky Donner. Uh, <laughs> and that's his too? Yeah, that's his. Uh, oh. He's worked with Ayushman a lot. Um, so, anyways. So, yeah. So, that's our review of uh, Galabo Satabo. It's free on Amazon. So, I mean, go check it out. And, learn. and it's two hours. Yeah. It's not, like I said, I'm pretty sure if you know Hindi, you probably would enjoy it even more. Uh, but probably. we're not going to lie to you and tell you we loved it when it was just a uh, film. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> Let us know what you thought of film down below.